Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a very very delayed video for you all. If you didn't know my birthday was at the end of May and oh goodness like it's been ages now but I finally have my birthday haul to share with you all. So it's basically just makeup that I've been picking up for my birthday. I did put it into this box so I can keep a track of everything that I was buying to show you guys. But yeah um, I didn't buy this all for like my birthday for say. I did buy some just because I was in like that buying mood. Like, have you ever been so, so stressed so you just shop? That was definitely me. So, yeah, these are just a few products that I've been randomly picking up here and there after my birthday, saying it's for my birthday when really it isn't. But whatever, let's just get started in the haul. <laughs> Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette. Oh my goodness, I'm so glad this is in my life. I'm so glad Too Faced made this permanent because seriously, it's really, really hard to find good eyeshadow palettes in Australia that you can actually buy at the counter. I think this one and the Smashbox one, Smashbox, not Smashbox. That was really weird. <laughs> but yeah, um, are probably the only two that I know of that you can purchase on counter. So that are like permanent. So yeah, I really, really do enjoy it. Like the colors aren't super, they're not super repetitive. Like sometimes you'll buy a palette and it'll be like the same color just in different shades like it'll just be like half a shade lighter than the other color and then it looks exactly the same when you put it on your eye this palette is not like that at all there's definitely definitely some variation and also a nice combination of matte satin and shimmer colors as well like there's probably these two shades are probably the most glittery out of the two i haven't experimented with those two yet but so far i have loved this palette and it smells amazing too ah <sighs> This product's quite, quite, <laughs> this product is quite random. This is the Mario Badescu Facial Spray with Aloe, Herbs and Rose Water. So basically I just bought this as like in replacement of MAC Fix Plus because I think this would be a bit better for your skin. And yeah, I picked this up from Kit Cosmetics, I think. Yeah, I think it was Kit and it was like $13. But basically it's just a facial spray. just to like refresh your makeup so yeah I really really like it as you can see I have used this a decent amount I, pick, I picked this up from Kit Cosmetics for about I think 13 or 15, 13 to 15 dollars I think I can't really remember but yeah I've owned this before I really really enjoy it it's probably not a necessity but I use it in replacement of MAC Fix Plus speaking of MAC I did pick up a few MAC things um if you what month was it was it April or maybe it was March I can't really remember but one month I did mention that I hated the MAC Prep and Prime Skin Base Massage because it like literally broke down my makeup. Well, I was talking to a MAC makeup artist. Her name was Jess. She's at the Town Hall Maya MAC counter. And she's so nice. I was telling her about my problem. And she was like, oh, um, yeah, that's why they released a new MAC Prep and Prime. This one is more designed for like the skin base massage didn't work for you than this one will. And if this one doesn't work for you, then skin base massage will. And I was like, oh, okay. So basically she was super nice and she talked me into it. She did talk me into getting the pink one, but I was like, no, no, I want the yellow one. Cause like I do fake tan and I didn't really want like a pink base. But to be honest, it comes out so sheer that like you can't really notice a difference anyway. But anyway, this is the MAC Prep and Prime Natural Radiance Primer. And I've used this, I think twice, once. I don't know, but I definitely like this more than the Skin Base Visage, but I don't know if I like it better than my other primers. But so far, I am quite enjoying it. I'm definitely not getting any, like, breaking down of my makeup when I use this. So, yeah. Um, I did pick up a saint Bronzing Mousse. I did have the travel size of this, and I really, really did enjoy it. It, it was weird the first time I used it because I wasn't used to a mousse, but ever since then, I've really been enjoying it, so I thought that I'd pick up the large one. So, yeah, and I just picked this up in the light one. I don't know if I should try the dark one. Do you guys have any suggestions or recommendations for fake tan? Okay, so I do have a NARS product. I think this is the only NARS product that I picked up because NARS is so expensive here. But I did want to treat myself and I really wanted it now, basically. I wanted it then and there. So I did pick it up. I did post a photo of this on Instagram as well. It's just their Illumin... Is it their Liquid Illuminator or just... No, it's just their Illuminator in the shade Coco Cabana. This is just so beautiful. It's like a silvery pinky colour 
and it's just like a I have swatches on my hand excuse excuse that but yeah it's just like it's just like a little liquid if you can see that dollop and then you just like blend it out on the skin and it just it provides the most beautiful luminosity to the skin that is so funny you can see those swatches from before <laughs> but yeah you can see how much glow that's giving my hand and I just love putting it like here unfortunately I'm not wearing it today but yeah I've absolutely been adoring this it's so so good um, I do say this is quite pricey but you do get um, 30 mils so I guess you get quite a decent amount I do remember I picked this up online this is the EX1 Invisiwear liquid foundation I bought mine in the shade F200 I want to do first impressions on this but basically it's just a liquid foundation um, that's supposed to be really really good for like fake tan skin so I think this is going to match my fake tan quite well I'm super super excited for this and it does have a pump as well I bought mine off look fantastic I think and it was like $15 or something I did have a coupon code for like 10% so yeah definitely will let you know how I think of this okay so the next product that I have would be no surprise because you guys know that I'm obsessed with eyebrows this is the Too Faced Bulletproof Brows and I have mine in the shade Universal Brunette um, I could honestly talk about this product for ages but I think I might do another video comment down below if you'd like me to do that and if I've already done one then I'll link it down below because it is a review that I really want to do okay so I did do a stop at Laura Mercier um, I don't go there often because it is in David Jones like super out of my way so yeah I decided to buy two things when I was there did I only buy two things yeah I only picked up two things um, so I did pick up the matte radiance baked powder highlighter in the shade 01 it looks like this and basically it's just like a dome shaped highlighting powder it's not matte I don't know why they call it that but it is a very fine powder I'll swatch it on the back of my hand if you can see that there it's just super super beautiful and it just looks super super healthy on the cheeks and it definitely doesn't look overdone so I absolutely adore this so far I definitely will be checking out other powders in this line because I do know they have a bronzer in this line as well and then I also picked up their foundation the silk cream foundation this has been on my wish list for so 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 long I am not even kidding like I would say years like since I first started watching YouTube I haven't used it yet <laughs> but I definitely will be filming a first impressions on this when I have time that's the pure reason why I haven't used it yet because I haven't had time to film it but when I do definitely expect it okay a few more things from Mac I did pick up a lipstick this is an angel this is also one of those things that's been on my wish list for years I haven't even used it yet that is so sad I did take a photo for my Instagram but that is it this is the lipstick here it's in the shade Angel and it is a frost. Apparently this is what Kim Kardashian used to wear back in the day and I really want to put it on. My hair is an absolute mess. Oh gosh. I love new lipsticks. Like the feeling of just applying like a fresh lipstick is just so cool. <laughs> I hope this doesn't turn out to be a fail. That would be so funny because I haven't tried this on in store. I like the color itself but I feel like it clashes with my eyes because it is a bit pink and my eyes are like orange <laughs> I like it I think I, I did pick up another MAC Pro Longwear concealer purely because I think NC15 is way lighter than NW15 so I just picked that up it's NW wait NC15 and I have used it a few times um, yeah of course I need to pick up another MAC concealer this is the studio finish concealer in NC15 as well this one I picked up for spot concealing um, obviously um, I could use this under my foundation if I was tanned or I can use it on top of my foundation if I was pale so that's why I did pick NC15 instead and I've used this a few times I don't like it underneath my eyes it does feel a little bit heavy but on blemishes and stuff, it does look quite nice. So I am happy I added that to my collection. So yeah, that is the Studio Finish Concealer in NC15. Shiseido. I don't think I own anything from Shiseido besides like a sample primer that I have. But that's a sample. But I do quite like that. So 
yeah I thought I'd pick up a bronzer I've been eyeing out this one in particular for a very very long time I think it's the packaging for me to be honest just because it's so simplistic and then it opens up and there's the powder there I got mine in the shade number two and I really really do enjoy this I've used this a few times now and I can say I quite like it and then the last place that I went to was Bare Minerals um, I haven't really experimented with Bare Minerals very much ever so I thought why not give it a try now so I picked up their primer their foundation powder and also one of their concealers I think I own one of their concealers already one in the little flip containers and I I guess that's okay so I wanted to try out these um, so I picked up the primetime foundation primer just the original one and then I did pick up the bare minerals foundation powder in the original formulation and this is just the fairly light color which isn't that light like I could probably use it like underneath my eyes on a regular basis I think I don't know I haven't really worked it out but I'll probably do a first impressions on it because I haven't used it yet and then I did pick up the Bare Minerals Stroke of White Concealer. I asked for the yellow one and they gave me the pink one. So, huh, whatever. Um, but this is in the shade Luminous One. I have used it a few times already and I, I guess it's okay, but it's not like life changing. Maybe I do need to purchase the yellow one, but at the moment I haven't been wowed by this, but I don't hate it either. So... Oh, and I just picked up another duo glue, if that even counts as anything at all. <laughs> okay, guys, so that's the end of my haul video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Definitely let me know down below if you want to see any of these products in future videos um, or, like, reviews, first impressions, anything like that. Definitely let me know down below. And, yeah, um, I hope you're having a wonderful day. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye.